it's Rob Vegas. I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia, and of course we've got another episode of Assemble the Troops. This time we're going to take a look back in time, as it were, at an older figure, which is Dial Tone, and I believe he came out in 1986 originally. Uh, you can correct me on that if I'm wrong. We'll have a look at the figure himself. This is some really good news. He shouldn't need any assembling, so that is an absolute win for the channel and for all you viewers out there. But we'll check the figure out, have a look at the awesome accessories that they packaged him with back in the day, have a chat about the figure and the design, and um, yeah, keep it simple. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be a massive long video, and it's going to be fun. So if you're under fire from a heap of Cobra troops, and you need some backup or some help, who you going to call? Dial Tone. Let's roll over to the Rob Vegas Technology Center and check this figure out. <clears throat> All right, so we made it on over to the Rob Vegas Technology Center and check this out. This is awesome. It is dial tone. We've got all his gear. And what a great figure we have here. And further to that, like I said, we don't need to do any repairs. He doesn't have wobbly wibbly legs. Um, he's just an awesome figure with great accessories and um, a cool sort of, you know, gimmick or shtick as it were. This is excellent. This is some top shelf G.I. Joe and um a real winner in my book he's got the the cool as beret for a hat um he's got one of those awesome 1980s G.I. Joe moustaches and um yeah I think the moustaches in the 90s kind of went off the rails but these 1981 you can see he's just keeping it simple which is great speaking of keeping it simple he's got his OG machine gun. Now this was reissued quite a lot in different colors and with different figures. Like I've got a black one here. I'm sure you know I could find them in red or yellow or something like that if I went to the trouble. But it's great. It's a simple design and it looks realistic. You know, not like something far fetched and fantastical. We've got his backpack and this is. And now that you, this is like peak backpack. This is great because Dial Tone's like meant to be the communications expert and the dude you, you know, he's going to be calling up reinforcements for the Joes. He's going to be, you know, sending in coordinates for bombardments and stuff. It's got a little microphone that pops over his head so he can just go, yo, we need some help. Send in the tanks or whatever. And then when he's finished calling in some reinforcements, you know, he's got this cool as machine gun that he can you know just hose down some suppressing fire and keep ever keep all his body safe which is what we like and, and um yeah he's certainly a, a great figure so if you can find yourself a dial tone um by all means do i'm pretty sure they reissued him in a number of colors and things like that uh, but this og dial tone is is cool kind of a bit <laughs> of a wash with the colors if you give him the black machine gun which is why I think the the gray works and just matches up brilliantly with the figures design and and colors you know keeping it simple he's got black pants with some green highlights and green boots the green shirt with the or like a vest over like the um, beige off-white you know shirt beret cool 80s mustache what a winning figure and what a pleasure it is to be able to you know have him complete and be able to you know assemble the troop and have him restored and in fighting fit form so he can call in all the assistance the rest of the joes might need uh, should they run into too much trouble from cobra so what a great figure, and yeah, just really happy to have him back and ready to go. So everyone out there, keep on assembling your troops.
keep on having fun keep on keeping it real and whatever else you do and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye for now Hey everybody, it's Rob Vegas. I'm checking in and that just doesn't look right, does it?